Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Chaitan here from Double Cube, and I'm back again today with another tutorial and this is gonna be in a lot of software, so this is gonna be in After Effects, this is gonna be in Photoshop and a little bit of the internet also. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I take the um, interactions, or the app interactions uh, that I created in After Effects and put them into uh, Photoshop mockups and not just simple mockups, I'm talking about the ones in perspective mode and not just the flat ones and then render that out as a video file or as a GIF. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so here I am in After Effects and this was a project uh, that I just created which is actually a tutorial that I you know made previously if you haven't checked that out do definitely check that out it talks about creating an interaction uh, with all the elements of a UI screen for an, I mean uh, an app UI uh, in After Effects so it's a pretty fun tutorial because it's actually a collaboration too so the link to that will be in the description so anyway this is the uh, final composition and once you have this this is what you want to render out now if you want to import this into Photoshop and place it on a mockup, then you would definitely need this to be a video file. So you can go to composition and choose add to render queue. And uh, what you can do is you can click on the output module and uh, you definitely have to go and put it under QuickTime. And then you can choose QuickTime and come to the format options and make sure that you choose a video codec H.264 with the quality set to 100 and uh, then that's pretty much it and you can click on OK then you can choose your output file and it's going to be ready for you to preview so let me just show you how it looks so it's going to look something like this with beautiful smooth animations and uh, you're going to be importing this into Photoshop so here I am in Photoshop and this was a mockup that I got from rawmotion.com they have a couple of free and a paid mockups which you definitely definitely must download because they are amazing and super high quality and very realistic to look at so this is one of the mockups now these mockups work on the base of a concept called as smart object so as you can see over here this is a smart object as you can see we have this icon over here now if you want to edit anything you just have to go and double click on this and once you open it up, what you can do is you can go to file and you can click on place embedded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my um, file that I rendered from After Effects and click on place. Now this is going to take a few few seconds because it's importing a video file into Photoshop. And as you can see, it says preparing smart object. So we're going to let it do its thing. And there you go. It's done. Now, uh, before you do anything, you want to select the uh, corners if it is big or small what you want to do is you want to scale it but don't ma uh, don't worry it's not going to reduce the quality because it's going to scale it as a smart object and when you scale smart objects the the size the the, the quality does not reduce so i'm going to hold on shift and alt on my keyboard and i'm going to click on one of the corners and expand it so i cover the entire thing like so i'm going to press enter on my keyboard right and I'm gonna get rid of this label now once you have this the first thing you want to do is you want to go to window and then you want to choose timeline all right and then all you have to do is choose create video timeline boom there you go and now if I click on the play you can see the video is playing in the background as a smart object and I'm gonna pause that right really quickly and I'm gonna make sure that my length uh, of my background actually we don't need the background and we don't need the label as well and that's all we have to do and you want to press ctrl s and that's going to save this smart object layer and when i come to this layer as you can see it's overlaid on this and what you want to do again is immediately click on create video timeline and boom now we can go ahead and increase the size of this background as well and uh, as you can see we want to make sure that the length of the layers match with the length of the video and uh, then i'm going to go open this up and uh, open this up again and we have a lot of these layers so I think let's can we increase this all right so I guess now all the layers are of the equal length and then I'm gonna go and just uh, shrink this down like so I can press ctrl 0 to fit this to screen now let's play this and see if it plays and voila it does play over here but it obviously does take some time depending on the power of your uh, computer and your RAM and things like that but uh, it should work pretty fine you can just test it for a few frames and then you can pause it now what you want to do is you cannot export this as a GIF. Now you definitely can do that by going to file and choosing um, export and choose safer web. But I've literally tried it and it crashes my computer every single time. I don't know why Photoshop doesn't, you know, kind of take it in. So what I would do is I would do it in a much faster and a much more simpler way. And that is to come over here 
by clicking on this button and you have a lot of settings over here which you can change you can also change the timeline frame rate uh i've kept it at 30 so let's keep it at 30 and then what you want to do is you want to choose render video so in this dialog box what you want to do is obviously name choose the folder and you want to choose format h.264 adobe media encoder high quality document size whatever it is let it be like so and then you can go ahead and click on render so let's render this out really quick and boom the video is uh, exported let's just uh, play that and take a look all right so as you can see over here it's a very smooth it's very well done and it just looks fantastic i literally love it it's too good all right so once we have this we can now convert this into a gif or you can keep it as a video file if you want to so now so now i'm in my browser and i'm and I am on jiffy.com or giphy.com, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go and click on upload. And let's click on browse. And we can import our uh, file that we rendered from Photoshop. And then we can choose on upload GIFs. And that's going to do its thing again and upload the GIF and convert it into a GIF actually. Okay, so now our GIF is ready. So what you can do is you can either copy the link and paste, give it to somebody else, or you can embed it on a Behance document or something, or you can click on download. And then we have four options. So one is a source, which is basically the actual video file that you uploaded. You can download that. As you can see, it says source file with no edits. The second one is social, uh, optimized for social sharing. This is what you want to download. So I'm going to click on download that. And you can also download the MP4, which I don't think is required because you already had the mp4 which you uploaded and this one is going to be a little smaller version for 2 mb or less and once it's downloaded let's just open this up and there you go you have your gif and it's ready to upload and share and do whatever you want with it so that's pretty much it on how to create a gif from a video file that you exported from after effects and put it up on a mock-up in photoshop Wow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video and uh, learned something new and thought this was helpful. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and content. And I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye. <laughs>